Dancing Laser Beams opened PTC's 2017 edition of LiveWorks that took place in late May at the Boston Convention Center. Clients, partners, and even Barack Obama's CTO Anish Chopra made it to New England for the launch of ThingWorks 8, the software editor's new version of its IoT platform. ThingWorks enables customers to easily build apps, merging data from physical and digital worlds. We were invited to attend PTC CEO's Jim Happelman's keynote address. We now live in an interconnected world that's physical and digital at the same time. We have everything we need to engage the physical world with AR. When we encounter a physical product or an asset out in the field, we simply consult its digital twin and we transpose all of those digital decorations under the corresponding physical item. With ThingWorks 8, PTC proposes an experience where IoT is the new PLM and AR its companion. Why would you connect products to the internet? The answer really is so that you can lifecycle manage them better. You know, help them to operate better, be more proactive around the service, get better utilization. IoT is a technology that brings data from the physical world into the digital world. And uh, AR is a technology that brings data from the digital world back to the physical world. And today those interactions are separate. You know, if you want to drive your car, you put your phone away. If you want to check on the status of your car, you pull out the phone. But couldn't I merge those two experiences so that as a human, I could have an interaction that was physical and digital at the same time? That's what AR is all about, is bringing digital data into a physical interaction. So this is a big, powerful idea. I promise you, not too far from now, all IoT systems will use AR extensively. But right now, only one does. We watched the demo of an app created with ThingWorks Studios, one of the platform's tools. It uses augmented reality to detect physical anomalies. We have a situation here that's, that's told us that we have some fluctuating pressure in a particular valve. So it gives us a location, and we can actually go out and look at the location um, and it will identify the specific part that we seem to be having issues with. So once we've identified that part, we can actually go through and do some analysis. A little dashboard that shows me the data for the sensors in the, each of the valves that are on this assembly here. One of these valves is fluctuating more than the other valves, so it, it tells me that I probably need to replace this particular valve. And the great thing is that in ThingWorks Studio, um, you don't have to be able to program uh, and develop the way you do other augmented reality uh, applications. Everything is kind of like drag and drop widgets you bring into a 3D scene or you bring in the 2D canvas to create the UI um, you know, very easily. For historical reasons, PTC has targeted mainly manufacturing applications, but the platform also can be used in other areas, including smart cities. Okay, you may not think about a street light as being IoT and smart and connected, but actually that's one of the primary use cases in smart cities, is as they replace light bulbs, putting them in with light bulbs that are actually sensored to be able to detect things such as noise. If there's a gunshot sound that goes off, let's alert the police. Being able to detect traffic, where are their traffic congestion so that we could reroute people. ThingWorks 8 will be available June 8th.